Hey guys, uh, I have a new tutorial on how to export top performing Google Ads search terms to Google Sheets using app scripts. So um, if you have uh, multiple campaigns and you really want to figure out what are the converting terms very quickly so that you could you know, use for an SEO campaign or, or just in general know what is converting across multiple campaigns without having to go through Google's uh, dashboards, which we all know every time they change the way Google ads works, it's usually a pain in the in the nuts. Sorry to put it that way, but it really is. Um, this is an easy way just to export uh, what you have that is the best converting. So what it does is it pulls six months of query data across um, all campaigns. It will filter out the garbage, like brand terms, low converting noise that you don't need. It also calculates the cost per conversion as well as conversion rate. And it drops everything into a clean Google Sheet. So let's break down uh, how it works. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to start in Google Ads scripts. Um, so you would go to your Google Ads account. On the left column, uh, there's gonna be bulk actions under tools. And when you go under bulk actions, you're gonna see scripts. Um, so you wanna go into scripts and you wanna create a new script. So you would click the blue plus sign to create the new script. And inside there, in the blog post, we added the complete script that you would need to add. So you would just copy and paste out of the blog post the entire script. You're gonna to wanna to name your script so you can put top performing search terms um, or whatever you'd like. Now I like to break down the script a bit. So here, um, I did that in the post, um, some things that you need to know that you wanna modify and why. One is gonna be your spreadsheet URL. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure the appropriate permissions have been added to the spreadsheet to allow Google to access it. Then you have a setting for date range. So you could specify whatever date range you want to inside the script. Um, then you have a sheet name behavior. So that's just the actual name of the sheet. And what the sheet name behavior does is dynamically names the tab. So it's gonna create a new tab with the name that you want. And then another function I felt was important was to ensure that you don't have brand terms um, inside this, right? Because if you're getting what the best converting terms, well, we know that you're gonna probably convert with your brand and we really wanna know what is the actual broad terms, because that's where we would be competitive, right? Because people already know your brand, those are probably the existing customers, and you don't need to know those terms. So I made it a quick way to be able to add your search term, which is by brand. You can easily add as many as you want just by continuing uh, each row. There's also a performance threshold. So I want anything that's greater than one, right? Conversion of one, but let's say you're like, I need to know what is the best out of the best converting terms that have converted at least 10 times. Well, then you can change that one to 10 and you can also see, you know, what is the higher terms that you're looking for. So it's a really easy way to filter out um, based on the amount of conversion per term, if you wanted to do that and just get that per precise value. So the other part, yeah, which is a little bit, uh, it's probably not needed, but there is an output formatting I did on the CPA conversion rate um, and how they're written on the sheet. You can edit and delete the string additions to remove symbols like uh, dollar sign or percentage if you don't need those or you want to calculate a certain way in Excel and you just don't want to have those in there and it's easy to populate without it. So after you spin this up and you, you put out the best converting terms, you're gonna have a campaign name, an ad group name, a search term name, conversion, conversion value, cost per conversion, and conversion rate that comes out um, from your Google Ads campaigns. So a couple of things that I haven't added um, that can be enhanced, and you can use the script, paste it into ChatGPT, for example, um, and, and enhance would be is adding campaign labels, uh, building a scheduler uh, to automate reports weekly or monthly. You can do that through the um, act scripts within Google Ads. You could trigger email alerts uh, when a CPA exceeds a specific value conversion rate through app scripts. 
um, as well. Uh, as you know, joining data uh, reports like key verbs and blah blah blah. You can add basic pivot summaries and conditional formatting directly in the sheets and connect output to Looker Studio for visual performance dashboards. So, so I hope this uh, script will help you guys uh, to easily pull data that you're just looking to find.